Hello everyone, The Flying Scotsman here. Welcome to this video. This video I thought um, we would do something a wee bit different because um, I'm aware I've done quite a lot of Retro Fest videos. So um, how about something modern? Um, I seem to go from one extreme to the other. Anyway, uh, as soon as I find um, as soon as I'm able to find and uh, root some cables, we can begin. <laughs> oh, gems. Right. <laughs> yep, start as you mean to go on. That's, uh, that's a way to do it. Right, <clears throat> got it. Now, as some of you will be aware, the new Crash Bandicoot is now out. It's a remaster of the old one and being a massive fan of the franchise, naturally I wanted to play. There was a wee bit of an issue with that however. In order to be able to play I needed a PlayStation 4. Well a couple of weeks ago I managed to rectify that I actually got um, a PlayStation 4 from uh, Cash Generators in Aberdeen and actually I, <coughs> you know, I got it for quite a good price. So uh, why don't we have a look at it? Now the reason I'm doing this video now, before we do go on to look at the PlayStation, is um, I've actually had to take it back and get a replacement unit. And uh, the reason is, well, it's quite a funny reason. My unit was an American one, believe it or not. I have no idea how an American PS4 came to be in Scotland, but I could tell because it was model CUH-1001A. And models that end in, models whose last numbers are 01 are US, uh, USA models. Whereas, at the moment... And for the meantime, I live in the UK. And, um, you know, we have uh, the UK models generally tend to end in 03. Now, that wasn't really a problem because uh, PS4s are not region locked for games. So any game I bought here, I've been able to play on it absolutely fine. And, you know, with the TV and what have you, again... It's been absolutely perfectly fine. As has accessing the PlayStation Network, getting apps, being able to do that no problem. Um, it's you know it's worked in pounds and pence rather than dollar uh, US dollars and cents. The only problem I had was when it came to playing DVD video, and. Um, you know, I was just chatting with um, I was just chatting with my friends actually, and um, and Jack Stavros um, casually mentioned that the PlayStation Four does not play audio discs. Although there was a woman in the shop today that assured me that the PS Four does indeed play audio discs because her son had ripped a load of CDs to his PS Four. So I don't know what all that's about. Um, however, mine didn't. And I, you know, I, I tried it with Blu-rays and, you know, most of my Blu-rays worked. Could not get the Inbetweeners movie to play. So uh, that, that, again, was a wee bit odd. <laughs> so, um, you know, I'm just, I'm there thinking, well, what's, what's the story here? The, um... Problem really arose when it came to playing DVDs. The only DVD I could play on mine was uh, Jeremy Clarkson's The Italian Job, which came with the Blu-ray of um, the same video. I, um, you know, back when I started to collect Blu-rays, I wanted the, um, I usually wanted the dual format, or, well, a lot, a lot of times you get triple format, so Blu-ray, DVD, and digital. Um, I wanted the dual format so that, um, you know, if I went away anywhere, didn't have a machine with a Blu-ray drive at the time, I actually ran a Mac, well, I was running Macs. 
Um, so I thought, well, I'll get the uh, double play one so that, you know, if I do go away and I want to watch a film, I can watch a DVD version. Absolutely fine. So that DVD worked, but none of my others did. I tried, um, I tried a Disney, I tried Hot Fuzz, uh, I tried a Peter K one, I tried Matilda. Yeah, I know, taste in films. Um, none of them worked. So I had to take my uh, Yankee Doodle PS4 back and, um, and get this one, which was uh, presumably owned by Sir, uh, Sir Chadwell Heath or Reginald of Tottington or some, something. I, I don't know, something stereotypically British. Anyway, <clears throat> let's have a look at this console, shall we? This is, like I said, the CUH1003, and it's, um, well, it's a bit of a bricketh. Not as much of a, of a bricketh as the original Xbox One, but uh, still quite a bricketh. And for some reason, it's a RON bus! Um, but, you know, I'm not even going to pick on the styling of this, because genuinely, it's a great console, and it does have some great games on it. Um... You know, I just wish there was backwards compatibility with the PS2 and PS3 and what have you. Um, you know, and I just wish Sony weren't such fannies nowadays. You know, with uh, certain things. I mean, you'd think that a DVD player option would have the... Op you'd think that a DVD player would have the option to change a fucking region. Come on. Anyway. Um, so, um, here we have... Um, Let's let's give it the usual tour. In fact, let's let's just point the camera down a bit, so I'm not actually having to lift this up in the air. So on the front we have, um, well, we have the front slit, and uh, you know you put things in the slit at the front, and then um, you get some nice results. Um, the thing that you're supposed to put in the slit is actually um, DVDs, games, or Blu-rays, and um, you know. You, watch movies, play games, that sort of stuff. So, yeah, before anybody gets any dodgy ideas. And then there's two, what I presume to be USB 2 ports. Yeah, this PS4 is dusty. I'm probably going to get an air duster on it. And no, you can't see it. We do have power and eject buttons. Where are they? I think here and here. Thanks, Sony, for labelling them. I very much appreciate that. Um, on the uh, right hand side you've got lots of dust um, I'm gonna get an air duster in between there on the back you have um, power uh, DC ACN it's a figure of eight lead from what I see um, then you have um, PS4 information plate there uh, optical out is kind of nice. Uh, HDMI, Ethernet, and what I can only assume is the connector for the Sony iToy. And then on the other side, you have nothing except for the uh, glossy, um, the glossy cover, which uh, you can actually remove. And underneath that is the hard drive, which you can replace. Now I do believe this is the 500 gig model. I mean, that's what I paid for. Um, but like I said. You can replace a hard drive, um, so that shouldn't be a problem. I've not used anywhere near the 500 gigs at the moment, but, um, you know, if it, if it does get to be a problem, I will have no qualms about upgrading to a 1 terabyte hard drive as soon as I've got the money. Or even throwing a 2 terabyte drive, who knows? But that's, that's a good thing about the PlayStation. You can do that. Something that was um, also... Um, a thing with the PS3. I had a PS3 40 gig originally, big giant thing, and uh, was able to upgrade from a 40 gig to a 320 gig hard drive when I re upgraded the hard drive in my MacBook Pro. Anyway, I'm just going to go off camera, see if I can uh, air dust this a bit cleaner, and then we'll come back and we'll connect it up. Okay, I'm sorry, I've got to do this, but... Viva la deference. This is just with an air duster. 
in the bottom that was really disgusting. It's fantastic. Look at that. Um, the back I don't think needed any dusting, so that you know got to stay as it was. But um, again, with the top, oh, that's that's just come out beautiful. <clears throat> Okay, so now it's finally time to set it up. <clears throat> actually quite simple to actually uh, plug a PS4 in, um, especially when you've got uh, the other end of the cable pretty much ready. All I need to do is plug the power in here, just uh, make sure that's in uh, all the way. <clears throat> and then we plug in... Um, the network cable, because that's what I landed on. And then, um, last but not least, <laughs> you then start to wonder where the hell the HD cable has gone. Um, so, yeah, that's a thing. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Basically, what I do there is I plug the HDMI cable in on the back of the system, making sure to plug it into the actual HDMI port the right way round <laughs> and not into the other one. So there we go. PS4 is now connected up to the network and it's ready to go. What I am going to do, because I will need to set it up, is I'm going to plug in the receiver to my wireless keyboard down here. And I will plug in my controller cable here. Obviously the right way up. There we go. So what I think I'm going to do is um, we tried to uh, set it up for the first time in the shop but um, the, uh, well, we wanted to test to see if it would play a DVD, but of course you need to be on the internet to download the blimmin' DVD player program thing. Thanks, Sony! So I wasn't able to do that. So instead, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to re 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 initialize it, and then we'll go through um, the setup of the system together. Okay, so now I have quick initialized this PS4 and it would seem that um, hopefully what we will see next is what would happen when you take a PlayStation 4 out of the box for the first time. So, <clears throat> first off you see a white PlayStation logo and then you reflect on how things have changed because that used to be all nice and multicolored. Then you see a Sony logo. And then you see Sony Interactive Entertainment. Okay, now it's saying connect to DualShock. Uh, connect, basically plug a controller in. So I did, I've done that. Controller is plugged in and um, now, when I press the PS button, what should happen is it should mate itself with the PlayStation 4. Good. And now it's lighting up white, not that you can really see it because it's beautiful and sunny outside. Anyway, which language do you want to use? Now, on my other one, it actually defaulted, um, it actually had United States English selected as default rather than United Kingdom English, English United Kingdom. 
So that's the language I want to use. So I've selected that. Uh, let's start. Let's start setting up your PlayStation 4 system. Uh, first of all, I want to set up an internet connection. Uh, connect a PlayStation camera. Uh, uh, set the date and time. And um, adjust the pure saving settings. Okay, checking network. Whatever it is. Okay, connect the PlayStation camera. Now the video input from the camera will be displayed. If you do not have a PlayStation camera, press skip. I don't. Um, <coughs> which time zone am I in? UTC 0000 London. Um, yep, today is the 27th of July 2017. Uh, the time is... Uh, yeah, about that. Um, set time until the PlayStation 4 automatically turns off when you're not uh, operating it. Media playback after four hours. General applications after twenty minutes. After uh, twenty minutes, yep. Okay, so um, select the features you want to use in rest mode. The more you select, the more power the PlayStation will consume. Um, Let's see, supply power to the USB ports. I think we'll select all ways on that one. We'll do this one. Um, keep application suspended. Um, next time you use a PS4, you can quickly continue from where you left off. Uh, stay connected to the internet. You can download update files and content and yeah. No, I don't want that. But I will take the suspend applications because there have been times when I've, um, you know, basically wanted to, you know, leave a game of Crash Bandicoot and come back to it. Not that I actually use rest mode that much. I generally tend to, um, I generally tend to full power down the system so that I can switch the plug off. Okay. Um, license agreement. PS4 setup of VR. PlayStation 4 is complete. Have I just? Um, have I just? I'm, I'm wondering if I've just uh, signed up saying that yes, I agreed to let Sony use me on a women chain gang somewhere. <laughs> uh, PS4 setup of your PlayStation 4 is now complete. Enjoy an exciting world of entertainment. It's it's just said that. So basically, I've I went out and bought a PS4, and it's a set, what it's essentially told me to do is continue. Just go back to using my PC, essentially, because that's where I'm going to get the exciting world of entertainment from. Okay, a later version of the system software is ready to be installed. If there are any applications in use, select Update Later and then save your progress in the applications. Press the PS button to use the controller. Um, right, so I think I want to update now. Um, an update has been downloaded, version 4.72. Uh, what does this update have on it? Main features in 4.72 update. The software update improves the quality of the system performance. Well, that's fine. The system software, the system software of the PS4 will be updated. Your PS4 will restart and start the update. Okay, so we've got the uh, Sony PlayStation logo there. Nice. Photo sensitive epilepsy. Welcome back to PlayStation. Press the PS button to use the controller. DualShock 4 wireless controller connected. Who is using the controller? Actually, now it's time for me to set up my own user account. So I can do that. And play as a guest. Um, get more out of your PS4. Download the latest games and demos from the PlayStation Store. Chat with your friends and play games. Share all your great moments. Ah, uh, yes, because this controller has um, well actually I should probably show you the controller while I'm here um, this is a very worn out example of the controller but uh, here it is nonetheless um, it's a lot like the PS it's, it's basically like PlayStation controllers of old so you have uh, you have your um, d-pad here you've got your uh, analog sticks which also have buttons underneath them so you can click them nice You've got a PlayStation button, X, square, triangle, circle. On the back, you have a blue light. 
probably tells you the year player one. If the PlayStation's off but the controller is charging, that will uh, pulse orange. You've got um, L1, R1, and L2 and R2 are triggers, and unlike the PS3, the triggers actually uh, flick out the way. So, uh, kind of hold your finger rather than allowing your finger to roll off. So, that's, you know, the... They've upgraded this controller, they've actually made it a lot nicer to use, even if it looks a bit stupid. Um, you've got two new buttons. If you need start and select for older games, you basically press down on... Well, you've got a touchpad here that's um, clickable. You press down on the right side of the touchpad for the start button, and on the left side for the select button. But you have two new buttons, options, which brings up um, a, uh, basically brings up a, kind of like a context sensitive menu. Um, I nearly said whisker menu, but that wouldn't be correct now, would it? Um, and then you've got uh, what uh, Ben Yahtzee Crawshaw, the escapist, zero punctuation guy calls the annoy all your friends button. It's actually a share button, allows you to share short video clips or screenshots of what you're doing on the air, uh, PlayStation. So I've already used that to um, flood Facebook and Twitter full of images of me playing the remastered Crash Bandicoot collection, Insane Trilogy. Driving people insane. Okay, right. So now we're gonna set up PlayStation Network and I'm gonna do a lot of this off of camera. Cause that would uh, involve me putting in my username and password. I don't, yeah. Okay, so, um, Let's do that. So that's me signed in. Now there's a couple of settings I want to change. First off, I'd like to show you something pretty damn neat. Accessibility. So you can zoom in using um, the PS4 and the PS and Square buttons. And then you move around using the um, D-pad and then you circle to cancel zoom. Or I guess you can, uh, I guess you can use the touchpad to do that, that's, that's kind of nice. Okay, so that's enabled if I need it. Could invert the colours if I wanted, that's, that's a bit trippy and the games would no doubt look too trippy. Uh, larger text, thank you. High con uh, bold text, thank you. High contrast, um, adjust the colours of text and backgrounds to improve the clarity of settings on the screen. This only works with some features. I think I'll have a bit of that as well. Why not? Closed captions, you can adjust the settings. Uh, button assignments. So I could change... I could change um, certain buttons. That's, uh, that's pretty cool, actually. I, however, I'm okay with using the PlayStation. Um, auto scroll, press and hold delay, add to quick menu. I will add accessibility settings to the quick menu, actually. Um, I want to delete a user. I'm going to delete user one. So I think what I'm going to do is set a passcode. There we go. So that's that done. Um, application save data management, sound and screen, system music. There we go. Right, I think I've set everything I can set. So I guess it's time to see if I can actually play um, any different media. So let's start with a um, an audio CD. Uh, like I said, my American PlayStation 4 would not do it. But let's see if the British one can. And uh, hopefully uh, not play too much so as to get caught out by the uh, YouTube copyright mafia. 
we go. And supported disc. This disc is not supported by the PS4. And this is, you know, a regular audio CD. Uh, 100, 100, uh, drive, 100 hits drive time anthems. So it's a regular uh, CD. Um, I would try a vinyl record, but they don't fit, unfortunately. Sony never made the drive big enough to accept a vinyl record. Thanks for that. So now I guess it's time to test some DVDs. Um, so we've got um, Hot Fuzz. So what we'll do here. Pop it in. And see uh, what happens. <clears throat> okay, so it says DVD. Can I enter? Please wait. Okay, you can display this button guide by pressing options. Okay, so that tells you how to play the, the disc. So there we go. The DVD plays. See, on the US PlayStation I was getting, this disc cannot be played due to region restrictions. You wouldn't download a car. <laughs> Piracy and stealing. Yeah. Yeah. So, as you can see, this does seem to be playing. Um, button guide. Pause, play, menu, fast forward, information, triangle, fast forward, reverse, press and hold, control panel, thanks. Uh, thanks for that. So there's no, there's no it's time to stop button, so. Oh. That's nice. Can go back to the menu and then press and hold the options button for the, um, PS2-esque control panel and then hit the IT'S TIME TO STOP button What is this? Share your experiences Yeah, I'm sure Sony want me sharing footage from DVDs I'm sure that's really what they want um, So there we go That's um Hot fuzz plate, which is kind of good. Um, I'm now going to check uh, another DVD, which I know did not play in the PlayStation. So there we have it. PS4 completely set up. And um, there's one thing I've not even bothered to test. And it might just be the most important thing of all. Um, but then again, I mean, that's really, um, that really is a matter of opinion. GAMS. Also known as games. Can a PlayStation 4 play a PlayStation 4 game? We will never know. So, let's get out a game that is known working. Um, I mean, if I can even find it, the, the chance would be a fine thing. Mm. 
watchdogs. Then I'm going to have to go through the whole thing of hacking through a building again. Game save data. Surprised it doesn't save it to the PlayStation Network. Because I mean, Xbox save data is usually saved to OneDrive. So there we are. It actually does. Um, actually does read game discs. That's it. Preparing it now. Probably installing a whole load of junk to the hard drive. Um, and I'll probably get a nice wee icon for um, a few free hours on AOL. Um, no, I'm getting on. Installing update file. Well, isn't that nice? This is the scourge of the new console. You know, you think, I really fancy a wee shot. Ah, right. <laughs> there we go. That is absolutely perfect, just about. Look at that. Um, but yeah, you think, you you know, you think, I really fancy a goal, see so a power on the system, oh, sorry, it's only you got an update, or now connected to Windows Update. And, and then you think, okay, you know, I quite fancy playing a bit of uh, Halo Master Chief. So you load it into your X Play Switch Box Station Wii U 2600, and then it's got to update. Um, so apparently, uh, hexagons will start randomly flashing up on screen. It's... So. I'm guessing I'm supposed to have a hexagonal hard drive in here. Uh, <laughs> or the game should have been um, pressed onto hexagonal Blu-ray. Pressed? Etched? Whatever. It's not a final record. So there we go. Um, we have this. A title screen. All that power. And Sony has used it to a brilliant effect. You can uh, now boot a game to a title screen. I think that's fantastic. I know that I'm supposed to make it just barely visible, but I need this bright, damn it! So there we are. Um, there we are. It's Watch Dogs. They, 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 they're apparently dogs, and they like to watch people. Although I've not seen a single dog um, in the game. I saw the I saw the uh, protagonist's daughter get killed. Thanks. And then her teddy bear went. Symbolically, a bit too symbolically out of the car, just yeah. Anyway, let's <laughs> wrong one. let's close the application and conclude the video. So, there you have it. This is uh, the PlayStation 4 setup. Um, and okay, I've just this minute set this one up and just installed a game. But because I have been playing, I can uh, actually give you a verdict on it. Now, um, Sony, and this is the same with Microsoft, they're bringing out Half-Life revisions of the console. Nothing to do with the Valve software um, property. But uh, they're bringing out, you know, revisions to their formulas. You know, we have the Xbox One X, which, um, you know, it uh, shortens down to Xbox. X-B-O-X, Xbox One X. That's... Someone doesn't have a life somewhere. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, no, we've got the Xbox One X on Microsoft's side and the PS4 Pro on Sony's side. Um, but they're also shrinking down their current consoles um, so the PS4 has became the PS4 Slim and the Xbox One has became the Xbox One S um, 
so these Half-Life revisions of the consoles, they obviously are going to support, um, they're going to support new features. In the case of the Xbox, 4K Blu-ray support is a must. You know, it's coming both to the Xbox One X and the One X. Uh, Sony have uh, responded to that by completely ignoring the existence of 4K Blu-ray. Well done. So, no 4K Blu-ray of any sort is coming to the PlayStation 4. Nice. Um, what is happening, however, is, um, you know, both systems are getting a graphical upgrade and a slight CPU upgrade. But essentially, it's, it's basically just going to be like, you know, somewhat, you know, NVIDIA bringing out a new graphics card or AMD, you know. You're still going to be able to play the games, but um, they're not going to look their absolute best. I mean, it's not like, you know, some, it's not like you're going to be buying a new game like Gran Turismo Sport. You're going to put it in and it's going to look like Virtua Racer, you know, I mean, filled polygons untextured or anything like despicable like that. Um... You know, they're still going to look good, but they're not going to look as good. But, um, you know, the, if you were wanting to buy a console, you know, and people will... And I don't know if I've ever been asked that, what should I buy, PlayStation 4 or Xbox? Because, you know, I've always made it plain that, you know, primarily I am a PC gamer. But, you know, there's some games that I will play on console, either because they're specific to the consoles, or... They, the PC versions have got very crude and intrusive uh, DRM that you know makes that renders games unplayable. Um, as for which console I would recommend you buy, um, well, I can't actually give you a definitive decision. I mean, you'd expect me to say, "Oh, you should go out and buy the PlayStation 4." Screw that Microsoft pieces. Yeah, you know. It's, bloody terrible but no I um, I'm completely on the fence about this and the reason for that is really it's about what you want to play a lot of the um, there's really nothing in it you know in terms of uh, single player you know the games that are you know on both consoles you know, you're going to have Red Dead Redemption 2. That's coming to the consoles, PlayStation and Xbox, but not the PC. So you'd have to get a console if you want to play that. Um, if you really like Halo and, you know, franchises like that, um, get an Xbox One. Although Microsoft is starting to move towards the Xbox Anywhere platform, which I personally quite like because it means a lot of Xbox franchises are now coming to PC. Forza, Forza Motorsport, for example. You know, I've, been play, I've been enjoying Forza Horizon 3 on the PC. Um, if you want to play Naughty Dog stuff, so that would be Crash Bandicoot, Insane Trilogy, Uncharted, The Last of Us, stuff in that vein, um, then you want to get it for the... You want to get the PlayStation, because that's what they're exclusive to Naughty Dog. Uh, tend to make stuff for Sony. Um, single player or multiplayer? Well, it just depends. You know, if you're playing games and they're multi-platform, and you're, but you're uh, more interested in playing multiplayer campaigns with friends rather than single player campaigns, that's actually quite simple, I would say. You know, if your friends have got a particular console, just go with what they have. So, you know, if I wanted to play, if I wanted to play a multiplayer campaign of something like um, Red Dead Redemption Two with um, with Jack Stavros, who's who's actually looking to get it for the Xbox One, uh, if I wanted to play online with him, I would have to buy an Xbox One to be able to do that. But if I just want to play single player, I have a PS4. It's set up. I could just buy the game on PS4, bring it home, install it, and play it, and have a good time, hopefully. Um, but uh, with that, there really is nothing more to say about that. I mean, obviously, with the PS4 Pro and the Xbox One X, um, 
you could, uh, you know, factor in 4K Blu-rays. Do you want to play them? Do you, do you actually want to watch 4K Blu-rays? And if so, you have to get the Xbox. It has to be, because the Sony PlayStation, you're not getting 4K Blu-ray on that. And I, I don't understand that, because Sony was one of the pioneers of Blu-ray. You'd think that they would be wanting to push their own format, but uh, maybe they know something that we don't know. Maybe... Maybe they're starting to get out of optical media altogether, and the PS, the you know, the next revision may not have an optical drive of any sort. <laughs> to be honest, I'm actually quite surprised that um, this generation of consoles came with optical drives, but I'm glad they did because you can use them for Blu-rays and DVDs, and in the case of the Xbox, CDs as well. Anyway, with that said, I think I'm going to end this video. So uh, thank you all for watching. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and would like to see more, please consider subscribing to the Flying Scotsman YouTube channel. If you're looking for more things The Flying Scotsman, you can also follow the Flying Scotsman YouTube channel Facebook page and follow me on Twitter. To see my latest video, click on the link within the browser window. In the meantime, thank you for watching and please do feel free to join me for my next video. Cheerio, bye.